Well, Matt, this. Do you know how this works? <laughs> well, you just explained it. <laughs> but no. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> See what I got here? Yeah, two magnets. Two magnets, yeah, and the light poles are facing each other. So we've got okay. a magnetic field running that way. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, okay. What's this? A bit of brass. It's a bit of brass. Do you think this is generating electricity right now? Right now? Yeah. No. No. Okay. So let's do this with it. Do you think it's generating electricity now? Yes. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> what? Well... Uh, so I'm doing it now. Why is it doing it now? Because you're running it through the magnets. Indeed, yeah. Going through... Yes, yes, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm running it through a magnetic field. Yes. I'm moving it through a magnetic field. And what about this? What is this? It's a bit of brass, yes, but what's important about it? It's thin? Nope. It's conductive? Yes. Okay. It's conductive and it's running through a magnetic field. Bit of steel. Is it generating? Right now? Yeah. No. Okay, I'm going to hold this one down. <laughs> what about now? Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because it's running through a magnetic field. And? It's conductive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? What's this made out of? Uh, alumin aluminium. Okay. Is it generating right now? No. Why? I don't know. What about now? No. Oh, because that is not magnetic. Does it? Is this magnetic? I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's generating. <laughs> yes, it's generating. Why? <laughs> because it's conductive. And? And it's running through a magnetic field. Is it conductive? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Is it generating? Yes. Yeah, okay. Why? <laughs> because it's conductive and it's running through a magnetic field. Is it magnetic? <laughs> no, it's not magnetic. Does it be magnetically important? <laughs> it seems like it doesn't. <laughs> it isn't. Okay, there are only three things that matter when it comes to this kind of generation. It's got to be conductive. Got, okay, got to be conductive. It's got to be moving through a magnetic field. It's got to be moving through a magnetic field. And it moves at a certain speed. Oh, and it moves at a certain speed. What governs it is the speed that okay. you move it. Yeah. The strength of the magnetic field. Okay. And the amount you move through. Okay, so it's more of it, it generates more. Okay. So that makes sense. Those so, three things govern that. That is the basic principle of all motors and all generators yes. that we use today. Yes. It's that, it's that simple. You have magnets, you move a conductor through it, and you it will can generate. generate. Yeah. What that we, makes sense. What have we got here? You've got magnets on steel plates. Magnets! <laughs> yeah. Yes! It's <laughs> magnets! <laughs> okay, <laughs> this bit's going to get the hell out of me. Is that conducting? <laughs> It is. Why? Because it's passing through a magnetic field. It's moving through a magnetic field. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Oh, man. So, anything, anything at all that is conductive and moves through a magnetic field will generate. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay. As long as it's conductive and moves through a magnetic field. It will generate. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So the, river, the Thames Estuary, what do you know about the Thames Estuary? Is the water sweet or salty? Oh, very salty. Salty? Yeah. Salty water conductive? Yes. Has the earth got a magnetic field? Yes. What do you think has happened to the Thames when it enters the sea? Do you think it's conductive? <laughs> do you think it's generated? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you? Well, I guess so. It is? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. I mean, yeah. yeah. The actual current and voltage was measured in 1856. Was it really? Yeah. It actually generates because it follows the same rule. It's a conductor, salty water. Yeah. It's moving them through a magnetic field, the Earth's magnetic field. Yeah. Therefore, it must generate. And it does. Not very much, okay? <coughs> Granted, but, not yeah. very much. But it oh. still generates. <coughs> yeah, as it must. This is moving. Okay. Coming from here and going out there. Yeah. 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 Is it conductive? No. Not at this temperature, not very much. It is actually, it's just a little bit, because flames separate electrons from atoms. So it's a tiny bit conductive, but okay. not very much. 
two ways to make it more conductive. What do you think they are? I don't know. One um, is make it hotter. Yeah, I was about to say turn up the flame, I guess. Turning yeah. up the flame won't do much, it just gives you more flame. Okay. We need a higher temperature. This will max its temperature out to 800 degrees centigrade because it's a uh, butane propane mix. Yeah. We yeah. can't get that hotter. We can just get more of the same. Yeah, yeah, just a bigger flame. Yeah. Same to, temperature, bigger yeah. flame. To get that hotter, we need to do something else. Okay. But we can add. See that? Ah. Why do you think it changes colour? Um, because it's getting hotter. Nope. Nope. Because it's. I don't know. Okay, let's see, we've got some stuff. What do you notice know? about that flame? It's blue. It is very blue. What do you notice about it now? It's green! Why? I'm assuming that's some sort of metal that you're putting is. on there. It is, yes. Is it zinc? No. Copper. Copper. Copper burns green. All metals have their own specific colour. Yeah. When they burn. It's why fireworks have the colours they have. Put metals in. That makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you notice about the colour now? It's got orange. It's gone yellow, but if you look at the centre of it, you'll see it's pink. Oh, yes, I can see that. Yeah. Yep. The yellow is the sodium burning in the string. The pink is the potassium burning because that's potassium nitride. Yes. Okay, so okay. every metal changes, uh, has its own colour of burning. The colour of that flame changes because we're burning metal in it. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yep. We also have a bit of copper wire holding that string up, so a bit of green in there as well. There you go, you can see the purple pink yeah, there. Yeah, it's very purple, very pinky. Yeah, this is the yeah. flame test, okay? You can test the material for its colour by burning it, telling you what that material is. And we have three main colours here. Pink, green, yellow. Yeah. So we've got some sodium, we've got some potassium, uh, and we've got some copper yeah. that's burning, and that's a flame test. So we're adding metal to that flame. Okay. Do you think that makes it more conductive? For sure. There's Metal absolutely, because there's metal yeah. going through it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So if we take that, add some metal, put it through your magnetic field, so we've now got a conductor moving through a magnetic field, do you think it will generate? Surely. Yes. Surely. Yes. And we've done that. Yeah. Why? Why does it generate? Because there's a conductor flowing through a magnetic field, therefore it should generate. There you go. It's a conductor through, flowing through a magnetic field. That's it. That's why that generates. There's nothing else to it. it. It truly is that simple. I mean, there are other things that happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just like when we did the flame test, there were other things that happen. Yeah. That's a hundred percent sure. But the basic principle here is the same as the principle here. So, why have we got these? I was curious. Why are all these things sticking up there? Ooh. If we want the electricity out of this. If you know, we do that, we want electricity out of it. What would we do? How would we get the electricity out? Well, you need to have a positive and a negative on it. You'd just somewhere. clip a couple of yeah. crocodile clips on, wouldn't you? Yeah. And you'd, you'd put it through a meter or a, or a resistor or maybe try and light an LED. You just clip onto it. Yes. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Because it's a solid bar of metal and we can do that and we can wave it through. What's the problem here when I'm doing this? Where do I put the clips? Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. So, is that the reason why you did it like yeah, that? Yeah, that's the reason why I do it like that. They are the clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I can't put clips on a flame, they just drop down. <laughs> and melt. <laughs> yeah. But they are the clips that are collecting it. In the same way that we have this, we put a clip on here, a clip on here, and wag it through the field, we could collect it. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. We can't do that here because the flame won't hold clips. If it did, we could put clips on it. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It just all these for a sec, would you? <laughs> so instead of doing that, we stick some wires in it. And those wires can collect it in the same way as crocodile clips you could. So that's how it works, right? It's as simple as that. Nice. Yeah. Okay, well, that's definitely. No mystery, is there? Yeah, no mystery. I mean, it's science it's apply. It's science, mate. That's right, it's science apply. <laughs> you think about it. <laughs> yep. You'll get it. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Thank you for going through that. No, no.